Hello there, Taurus. Thanks for being with me today. I'm Michelle B, and we're going to look at what is preventing you from leveling up with the amount of money flow that you have going on in your life. We love money. My two favorite subjects, money and love. <laughs> I go over these topics over and over and over again in the readings that I put out for you two or three times a week. So make sure and subscribe if you love my vibe. Be in the loop. You want to be in the loop? Make sure you are on my subscription list. Okie dokie. Where are we going here? What have we... Well, we got the tower that came out. We also have the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. There is like this... There are some of you who this for, for who this resonates with. For some of you, the flow is on its way. Okay, so what's, what's going on for a lot of you is that you were in a situation where like you're in like at a, at a stuck level, a lower level of income flow. And it was, it was the, a result of, I mean, we all have our levels, right? So if you were born into a lower income community, lower income family, uh, you kind of got stuck in that, in that level and you're like slowly chuka, 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 leveling up, leveling up, leveling up. Did I show you these cards yet? I gotta make sure and show you the cards so you can get a good look at what I'm looking at. All right, we got the Tower, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so when we're in a rut, because that's the level that we're at before we have to step up, right? It's like, it often goes like that, like that when we're going through our lives in whatever aspect it is, okay? So you're in the lower level and you don't know how to get yourself out of it. You don't know how to get to the next phase. Because it's risky. Often, like, the higher the reward, the higher risk is, a, is, is something that's, they kind of go together. It seems like it's risky, that's the thing. It seems like it, it's risky, and then you find out once you're in the next level up that it was actually riskier for you to be in the lower level. But you, it's that whole human brain, human psychology, fear of the unknown thing. So like, I'm afraid of losing what I have right now and risking not knowing what I'm going to get if I try to level up economically. And so what happens is you're just like, I wish that there was a way that I could do this. I wish there was a way that I could do this. I wish there was a way that I could do this. I don't like what I'm doing right now. It makes me unhappy. I'm not making enough money. And then the universe is like, Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> because you're not doing it on your own. You're not changing things on your own. It looks like a disaster. I live I live downtown, I live on a busy road. There's construction going on outside because I have a cafe. There's a cafe downstairs. So there's a bunch of rackets. Sorry about that, Taurus. Anyway, so the universe is like, you're not changing anything. You want this change. I can hear you say you want this change. It's in your fate. It's happening. This is gonna happen, right? It's in your fate that things are going to change, so I'm just going to make it happen for you. Okay, so anyway, where was I at? Losing your job is one example. You know, not being able to go to the go to the position that you were at before. There's like there's a spectrum of different things that could happen that could look like a disaster in your in your economic sphere, but in the end, it's always for something better. So you're having your former economic situation taken away, and now if it hasn't already been already. If it hasn't already been taken away, it could be something that's happening in the near future. Or you could be being warned. You can avoid disaster by just going ahead and taking the next step into what you need to do. And that will, it's like being proactive to keep something bad from happening. Because if you dislike something enough, the universe will take it away from you. So if you don't like the position that you're at right now, be proactive about changing it before something bad happens. I've had... I've had things happen for me when I didn't want to do what I was doing anymore, where I like had a car wreck and then I had to stop, right? <laughs> Stuff like that. You don't want that to happen to you? Make the changes that need to happen so you can be in a healthier place. That Knight of Cups, it means that there are some offers. There are some offers out there for you, but you haven't taken, you haven't accepted the offers for leveling up yet because you're afraid of not knowing like Taurus is so fixed you know they want to have they want to know where everything is all the time it's really hard for Taurus to step out of their comfort zone but it's time 
and if it, don't worry it'll happen <laughs> that's what this, these cards are trying to tell me <laughs> they're like don't worry it's gonna happen no matter what your your up levels happening you get to it, it's gonna happen no matter what you may not like it but it is gonna happen you got these offers you're gonna have to take them <laughs> because you're gonna be put in a position where you have to take some positive offers, but it's going to change the course of your life very quickly. So that is all good news, really. This is where I leave off, Taurus. I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye!